Greetings everyone, this is your boy, Bobby Young, 1984, coming to you with another one of those WWE 2K15 game, play, 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 hold on one second, what's my name, uh, man I'm just happy to be doing these again, it's been so long since I've done a gameplay, commentary, let's play, whatever they call them at IGN, but but we gotta just jump right into it, folks. It's WrestleMania season, and WrestleMania is right around the corner. And I'm super excited because this is gonna be my first WrestleMania I get to attend. It's in our backyard here in Santa Clara, California. And, and I'm super juicing. A lot of people really, really had a lot of uh, issues going into WrestleMania, especially with the week uh, main event build and some of the matches. and. You know, with some of the predictable outcomes, you may say, but I think just with this uh, this commentary, I just want to focus on the key matchups that I'm looking forward to, and then and I just want to give my insight and just my predictions on, on what I think will happen in some of these matches. And again, I'm super excited. A lot of people aren't that. I think I'm just excited as I get to go. You know, if I wasn't going this year, I was just like, oh, whatever. But since I get to be a part of the audience and I get to boo the hell out of whoever I want to boo and cheer whoever I want to cheer, I'm super excited. So let's just get into some of those those matches I'm looking forward to. So the first and foremost, I'm looking at Bray Wyatt versus The Undertaker. Now my main man Bray Wyatt has done an amazing job by himself hyping this match. And it, it, it's beautiful because when that man cuts a promo, it's just like, ooh, like he just hitting on all cylinders. Usually he's kind of just spewing the same repetitive stuff, but man, he's been hitting on all cylinders with the with, with the promos and he's been just carrying it by himself. And I, I guess you could say it's smart for the folks and the creative team and the front office not to have the Undertaker come on television because I guess they want to use this as like one of those Bigfoot sightings. It's like an aura behind it. So they want folks to get the, the WWE Network so they can see him at WrestleMania. But I'm hoping that it's... I know it's not going to be an amazing match because Undertaker's old. He can't... He barely moves. And Bray Wyatt's not really a great ring general himself. But I really am hoping to see a brutal matchup between just two just monster guys and at the end of the day I know a lot of people don't want to see them take or lose again but it's time it's time for Bray Wyatt it's time for him just to solidify him as a main eventer you know I want I want him to get this, this W even though he may or may not be okay with the loss I really think with a win Bray Wyatt can really cement, cement himself as a main eventer and hell he can be facing whoever the champion is at the end of the night down the road so I'm looking at Bray Wyatt taking this victory. He has to, you know. I don't care. Undertaker didn't beat the hell out of everybody else except Brock. So it's time for someone else to come up. Uh, the next match is the uh, was a six-man ladder match. Now, honestly, a lot of people are saying Daniel Bryan should win this match because uh oh, there's a botched move from from me. They're saying Daniel Bryan should should win this ladder match and become an Intercontinental Champion so he can bring prestige back to the belt. Now, all that's good and dandy. But I, I really like, I mean, I, I like Daniel Bryan. I'm, I'm a big fan of his. But I like I like Dolph Ziggler, man. Dolph Ziggler has been putting in work. And I actually thought he did a good job of uh, building up the Intercontinental title himself when he held it for a while, when he when he beat uh, Luke Harper in, in the uh, ladder match. And he's taking on all comers. And I thought he was doing a good job. Like, he he's a hard worker. He's a passionate guy. He, he, he's, he gets the crowd into it. The crowd is behind him. So I, I could I could see Dolph Ziggler doing a decent job. Hell, let him and Daniel Bryan get in the feud afterwards. Why does Daniel Bryan have to be the champion? You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, either Daniel Bryan or, or Dolph Ziggler, whichever one of those two guys win it, I'd be happy. I mean, I like Dean Ambrose, but I, I just don't really get behind him like everybody else do. Like, I like him, but... I don't know, the lunatic fringe thing just doesn't do it for me, you know, and I think I just don't like his finisher either. I, I can't stand the the double underhook DDT that he does. I think it's so weak, the dirty deeds or whatever. I don't know. Some people could say that, that Seth Rollins' curb stump is the same way, but I don't know. I just I just can't get in with, with, with Dean Ambrose like that. I like him, but I, I'd rather see Dolph Ziggler hold the belt. Now, looking at Sting versus Triple H, uh, again, I'm hoping that this would be I know it's not going to be an amazing match or a classic, but I'm just hoping for a decent match. Uh-oh, uh-oh, right back getting started. Let's shut them down. But I'm hoping that, I'm hoping that basically this be like a brutal match. Just like, you know, have a decent pace. I don't want to see a lot of rest holds or anything like that. I haven't seen Sting wrestle in forever. I think the last match I saw, 
was him against uh, Samoa Joe back in, I think, 07. So I haven't really seen Sting wrestle in a long time. But I know Triple H is a ring general, so hopefully he can carry Sting to a decent match. And at the end of the day, Sting wins that match. And, you know, King had a man debut and lose his first match at WrestleMania, so he has to win. Um, I'm thinking Seth Rollins and Randy Orton are going to steal the show. I think they're going to have, I mean, outside of the ladder match, I think they think they may have one of the best matches. And at the end of the day, I think Seth Rollins may lose cleanly. He may lose cleanly to to wrap up his thing with, with uh, Randy Orton so so that he can ha do something else at the end of the night. But I'm hoping that they put on a decent show. I really would like to see, you know, Randy Orton is a good wrestler. He has He's an excellent ring general, and, and Seth can go with anybody. So I'm expecting that to be the match of the night. And then my last match that I'm looking at is the main event. Boy, oh boy, was I not excited going into this. I mean, that last Monday night image that when I turned off the TV of them, Brock and Roman Reigns doing a tug of war with the belt was just hideous. That was just absolutely ridiculous. And... Paul Heyman should, should, damn Brock Lesnar being paid a lot of money. Paul Heyman should be broke off something vicious. Because this man, when he cuts a promo, it's the same way with, 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 with Bray Wyatt. I'm just like, oh my God, that man is preaching. You know, he just can sell a match. And Roman Reigns, again, I, I can, I'm the last person that, that, that should be dishing out hate his way. Because when I look at Roman Reigns, I see myself. You know, it's the same thing here at IGN. You know, I get the same amount of hate as he get, and I continue to do my thing. And it's just, hell, I took advantage of the opportunity that I've gotten to do these videos, whether it be Call of Duty or the wrestling videos. I just do them because I want to do them. So I can't fault him for taking advantage of this and, and, and making the best of what it is, even though he's not ready. You know, we can all say he's not ready. His ring work is terrible or it's not good enough or his mic skills aren't up to par. But at the end of the day, he took advantage of his opportunity, so I, I can't hate him like that. I just don't like him. I just, I'm a Daniel Bryan, Dolph Ziggler fan, you know, so at the end of the day, it is what it is, but I would like to see a decent match. I, hopefully these two guys put on the match of their lives. Now that Brock Lesnar has resigned with the WWE, it makes it a lot, uh, it's not as unpredictable as it was, because at the, last week, I was basically going, well, Roman Reigns is going to win it because Brock's leaving. But now that Brock has resigned with the WWE, it's now one of those things where you're like, okay, will Brock retain the title or will Roman Reigns still win it? You know, so hopefully these two guys come out and just just have the match of their lives. And and this is what I would like to see. I would like to be a hard fought match by Roman Reigns. I'm talking about Roman Reigns just putting his heart and soul into it and doing anything and everything he can to win and at the end of the day he still loses cleanly to Brock and I can live with Brock winning and leaving or I can live with Brock winning and he's just so exhausted and tired Seth Rollins comes out he cashes in his money in the bank contract and he wins the title I can see that but at the end of the day I can either see uh Brock Lesnar retaining and leaving with the belt or I could see Seth Rollins leaving with the belt after cashing in on Brock I mean I just I, I think Roman Reigns would win over a lot of fans if he had a hard like fault like just just fight his heart out and just come out with all these different moves and just 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 going toe to toe with Brock and then he just still comes up a little bit short and then give him another and this gives him another year to continue to build himself up as 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 the chosen one you know the, you know, just let it happen organically you know just not the way that it's been happening where it feels like it's getting stuffed down our throats and then i think the fans will come around and eventually just like they did with the rock the rock wasn't <laughs> wasn't accepted right off the back in the beginning when he's rocking my via so i see that this can happen same thing can happen with roman reigns he has to he has to lose he cannot win the belt he cannot win the belt or else that backlash i'm gonna be one of them fans just booing the hell out of him if he wins but that's just my spew folks hopefully Hopefully it's an exciting uh, WrestleMania. I mean, it's going to be my first one that I'm attending, so hopefully things work out. Hopefully you enjoyed this commentary. If you did, leave a like. Uh, please leave your comments on what you think is going to happen. Till next time, we go.